The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. Yet, by our quiescence, that labor is gradually being destroyed by emperors called governors. That our governors see their states as extension of their personal estate is a common phenomenon in Nigeria of today. The various state houses of assembly are April string of government house. During executive council meeting, instructions are merely handed down to the commissioners and nobody, I say nobody, they hold a dissenting opinion. Otherwise, you'll be sent away from the table. After all, a chop, they call you to come chop. The various ministries, departments, and agencies at the state level are a shadow of themselves as they are completely cut off from what goes on in government house, apart from information or funds the governors want them to know or sign off on. Maybe this is so because we are all fixated at the center and hardly care what our state governors do with our funds, provided they pay salaries and tie a few roads. We are happy as we await our turn for some largesse from government houses, either through appointment of SA to SSA, or contract or outright sharing through courtesy visits. Cross River State Governor Ayade recently appointed more than 500 SAs without portfolios, even though the governor claimed to have built industries that can't even employ anybody. If you talk, the same people that are suffering will call you names. Though autumn of Benue State is drawing attention of the world to the wanton killings going on in the state, which is very commendable, but the people and civil servants in the state are gradually dying of lack of governance and non-payment of salaries. Mr. Governor, I beg, use your state show Buhari how to lead. At least that will be starting from somewhere. Abia is enmeshed in fit and deplorable roads and lack of infrastructure as Governor Ekbeazu is alleged to have spent 56 million naira on security for his son's traditional marriage with allegations of corruption flying left, right, center. I shall see FCC go to open office for that state, self. Kogi workers on their side are too scared to complain about their salaries as Governor Bello spends lavishly in pursuit of his presidential ambition. Maybe he want to replace national election with ta 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 election that happened in his state. The Supreme Court governor in Imo State, Uzodima, has almost relocated to Abuja as agitators have taken over some part of the state over lack of purposeful governance. Yet, Enugu State Governor, Ugwain, Buruburu, whatever that means anyway, hands over his state to God while his people are demanding for infrastructural development from him. He should have just handed his mandate to God also. I wish you wish you to hear and see from this country, self. Delta State Governor Okowa is going around with smart ideas as worries gradually becoming smartless and being take over, taken over by filth and lack of government's presence. We say worry no the carry last. Yes, worry no day the raise as far as Governor Okowa is concerned. The lack of governance in a do state is becoming nauseating as Okada to Benin. That road stretch has been turned to a slaughter ground by terrorists. And Benin to Awuchi Road is a den of kidnappers. Why Governor Basekis is holed up in government house without a full complement of state executive, house of assembly, or even elected local government officials. I wonder what had happened to his Ogbane, Abi, he do 4 plus 4 to go sleep for government house. Talking about local government elections or government officials, that's another different kettle of fish as lack of democratic governance in these places has completely destroyed that tier of government. Only a few states can even boast of even elected officials. In Kaduna State, the more the killings, the more confused the state governor, brilliant Governor Erufa, it seems, maybe because of his support for President Buhari. Now, even schools are shut in most of the states in the north. Yet, the government failed to declare a state of emergency on security in that region, even as Zamfara, Bias and Kansena state governors have asked their people to defend themselves. Since the governors don't even have alternative plan, though they are still drawing salaries as governor. You can see, we're all on our own. Even though Governor Wiki of River State is seen as one of the few governors in the southern state with a track record of having built most roads in the state, and a major financier of the opposition party, PDP, his alleged wickedness to his civil servants know no bound. In less than one year, six months to the expiration of his eight-year tenure, precisely on Tuesday, August 17, 
2021, acting via the head of service, Rufus Godwin Esquire, the governor has requested all civil servants occupants of government quarters on Abana Street, NST Koli, LMS Street, Akasa Street, Isaac Borough Street, Habad Macaulay Street, and Woke Koro Street in Ojiare, and Tombia Street, Opobo Crescent, Emeya Crescent in uh, New Jiare, Portacourt, to vacate their quarters within one month on the ground that the houses were not befitting of a city that is undergoing urban renewal. Where then do you want the workers to move to? You would think he's talking about Dubai. Somebody asked, how about all the bachelor houses dotting the various parts of the city? Has the governor removed them to befit a city undergoing urban renewal? Anyway, I like our governor's share. Then we'll use BB grammar, collect civil servants' houses, and rebuild with same government money and sell to themselves. So don't be surprised that upon the expiration of the governor's tenure, they will build some massive edifice in these places as parting gifts for him and, and his associates. Anyway, now so that they do for Lagos. So I believe they learned it from, from here. You can't treat your civil servant this way and expect those watching not to steal and settle themselves before retirement to avoid humiliation even before retiring. Nigeria is gradually being killed by our collective inactions and actions. I will therefore advocate that until we the people decide to take our destiny in our hands and redirect our gaze and focus using the same energy we are using to demand for accountability and transparency from the presidency and our national assembly, to demand the same transparency and accountability from our governors our various state houses of assembly, we would succeed only in restructuring the country only to discover that we have succeeded in collecting power from one emperor at the center and handed same over to multiple emperors at the various state level. And as AGF, Advocate General of the Federation, let the youth know that being leaders of tomorrow will not be served a la carte as they would have to work for it and perspire to remove the vampire from the empire of the future they desire through massive participation in election. The time for action is now. And as they say, time waits for no one. And if you just clock 18, as I always say, go and register to vote. Now my search for grazing root carry me reach all of these places and I say I should update you. Until next week, don't forget to follow us on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Until they hear. See you next week.